Hello everybody, we're playing Love Ghosty today, which is a ghost matchmaker game. Kind of reminds me of Tomodachi Life, uh, but with a few changes. It looks really cute though, so let's try it out. It's an alpha demo, so things are subject to change. This is currently playable with either a controller or keyboard only controls. Many features are not implemented yet, and there are probably bugs. All right, let's see what's on here. New game. The character designs in this are really cute. I saw it on Twitter the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try out this game. Hey, are you awake? Oh, look at her. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, you're dead. But the good news is, you're a ghost. I died? That's good news? I died. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. I'll give you some time to process it. Oh, I'll play it on the controller. So you can't hear me clicking. Okay, well, now that we're over it, let me introduce myself. I'm Ghostina, and I'm your mentor for the afterlife. That's a cute name. Guess what we do in the afterlife? Matchmaking! <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, we don't just scare people. That's a really cute expression she's got going on. Even though, that can be pretty fun. We love watching romances bloom and making people happy. Fun fact, did you know ghost-driven romances are 20 times more successful than dating apps? <laughs> we don't. We just don't get credit for it. Because we're dead. So why are we doing it then, or I died? I want to know why they're doing it. Well, just because our lives are over doesn't mean we can't make things nicer for everyone else. That's nice. Anyway, welcome to the manor. Looks like it needs some fixing up. I get a house? Where is everybody? I get a house. Congrats, you finally did it. And all you had to do was become a ghost. Anyways, no one lives here. Don't worry, that'll change soon. I put up a sign that says free rent in this definitely not haunted house out in front. That's funny. Now before people move in, let's begin your training. Are you ready to meet your first resident? If you look closely, it's actually a fake one I set up to practice with. I drew all of this myself. A very nice ghostina. Looks kind of shabby. Looks great. Thanks. I was worried it was almost too good, you know? Anyway, residents live their lives and have no idea you're here. But you can m still make a difference. First, we need items. Meet me in the attic. Look at it. Look how cute this is. That's cute. She uh, drew a lot of people here. Look at that. Look at him. I love this game. Okay. You know... You know how you mysteriously lose a sock in the laundry? That was probably a ghost. Uh, actually I think it was my dog. She loves socks. We like taking stuff. Maybe her and the ghosts work together, I don't know. My dog. When you see something you like, you can take it. But it costs an arbitrary ghost action point. Don't ask why. But why? Why? <laughs> I gotta do that one. Actions in the after lost, afterlife cost points. Well, I said why. Listen, who's been a ghost longer? Do you know how ghosts work? We have action points. It's a ghost thing. You know, okay. Maybe when you were alive you had to sleep, but when you're a ghost you have action points. Anyway, try grabbing this apple on the ground now. Apple shouldn't be on the ground anyways. You've got a point, Ghostina. Alright. Steal? I gotta steal an apple? Doctors hate this one secret. That was a cute little noise. 
Nice. Now that we have an item, there are a couple of things we can do. One option is to sell it on the ghost internet. See that computer over there? From there, you can sell items for ghost money, and you can also buy nicer items that you can't find in the manor. Feel free to take a look. Whenever you're ready, pick a resident and go to the room for your next lesson. I'll meet you there. Oh, I love the little heart trail. That's cute. Alright, checking out the laptop. Eep bay. Eep mail. Dead it. Help, I, I sold my apple during training. I got an apple during training, but I sold it by accident. Help, what do I do? I don't want to get in trouble. It's my first day. It's okay, don't worry. They have backups. What? I didn't know you could sell it. I thought you were supposed to keep it. Do you think you think they wouldn't account for ghosts selling their apple in training? Hee <laughs> hee, I sold mine and got money for it. That's funny. Alright. Skeleton, dark, educational, serious. That's funny. Dead pickle in a cage, serious, unusual, complex, and fancy painting, ambitious, fancy, and serious. Alright, we're selling the apple. Speak with Ghostina in a residence room. Bird, bear, cat, or bunny. I will do cat. I like the cat. Oh, you picked person. Good choice. Okay, now I just need that you sold the apple. <laughs> uh, well, guess we'll have to continue with this. It's a training apple I keep for emergencies. I'm sure you know what else ghosts can do with apples. Eat them or haunt them. Haunt them. What? How would that even work? Do apples feel fear? Anyways, we can gift things to residents. But we can't just say the gift was from a ghost in your house you can't see but is actively watching you right now. Trust me, I did that. Worst 30 years ever. I really thought I'd win them over. Ah. So when you leave a gift, say it's from someone else in the house. Gifting requires action points, but you'll be able to make pairs of residents closer with your gifts. Okay, try gifting the apple in this spot and pick which resident you want to gift it from. Gift spot. Apple. Bearson, Burbson, or Bunsen? Uh, I like how they all start with B. Bearson, Burbson, or Bunsen? I think Barrison. Oh, they're a cute couple. Look at you. I guess you're a supernatural. That's funny. How long have you been waiting on that joke? I've been dying to tell you it the whole time. Now remember, residents all have different things they like. The better the gift, the better the effect on their relationship. Alright, looks like you have two actions left for the day. Let me show you what else you can do. Look at that. Oh, I love this wallpaper. It's cute. Thankfully, every resident who ends up living here agrees to work together to make this house better. They put up this handy chore board here. Actually, I put it up. But it's not like I can tell them that. None of them wondered where it came from. Why would you make them do chores? None of them wondered where it came from. Nope, I specifically put a note on it that says, From nobody suspicious. Sounds legit. So we should be in the clear. From here, you can assign residents to chores to... From here, you can assign residents to chores to do at the end of the day. Let's try it out. Every day, there are three types of chores. Dates, self-care, and a house helper. Those are some nice chores, man. Alright. Each of these cost ghost action points, so only assign the ones you want. Plus, some residents will like certain chores more than others. Select a slot on a chore to learn more about it and assign a resident. So yeah, those are nice chores. Fly a kite, relax with a coloring book, and change a broken light bulb. That's not too hard. Alright, let's let's put someone on a date. 
outdoorsy, active, and playful to fly a kite. Let's do the two I set up. Uh, person and person. Nice, you can assign another chore or if you're ready to move on, finalize your assignments with the assign button. I have one more, so I'm gonna give someone a coloring book. Burbson or Bunsen? I'm thinking Bunsen. Bunsen is gonna color. And that's how a typical day would go. You have a limited number of ghost action points per day, so keep that in mind when deciding what to do. As residents care more for each other, you will be able to watch their relationship grow. With enough love, there will be a new development in their relationship that you can unlock and watch. And now you've completed your training. Congrats, you're now a certified ghost. Ghosts need certification. What does that even mean? Ghost need certification? Yeah, I don't know. I don't make the rules. But here's your reward, your very own ghost certificate. Good job with a little star. I'm just kidding, look here. We've got tons of resident applications during your training. As your real reward, you get to choose the first four residents you want to move in. Mina, she, her, she is adorable. Uh, reason for moving, need my own space, I can live just fine on my own. <laughs> Gerard, he, him, had my heart broken, everything reminds me of her. So here I am. He's very emo looking, yeah. Calathea, I've always lived on my own. Because honestly, you're your own best roommate. But I should probably talk to other people, right? Noir, or Noir? Sorry, I don't really know how to say that word. Um, she, her, need to get out of my hometown. It's so boring. Alan? He, him, he's adorable. I'm definitely picking him. I want to experience what it's like to live as a peasant. Question, will all this be mine or will I have roommates? Shamel, they, them. Ooh. Wobbles, she, her, so cute. Sky, he, him, and then a couple other characters. Picking Mina and Alan. Um, I think Gerard and Calathea or Noir. Say Calathea. I want wobbles. I love I love her like sparkly eyes. They all have like little heart sh shades. Uh, sparkles in their eyes? The white stuff? That's cute. I like these designs. Well, we have... We all have ghost stuff to do. So I'm going to leave you here to do what you want in the manor. All four residents will be moving in tomorrow, so try your best. I'll check in on you after three days. Welcome to your afterlife. See you later. Alright, ghosty. Let's do this. A resident is arriving. I like this music. That's cute. He crossed out the heart. It's Gerard. Another resident is arriving. Very majestic and noble looking. It's Alan. Oh, this is the cat. Oh, she's so tiny. Look at her. Oh. I want to put her with the giraffe, I think. It's Mina. This is cute. Cute music. Aww. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely need a little bit of sunlight. It's Calathea. Alright. 
Let's take a look at them. Ooh, they have diaries? Dear Diary, I like this place. Even though it's always dark and spooky, I feel like the sunshine here is delicious. Oh, very cute, very cute. Dear Diary, I, I've come to establish a new kingdom. This may be no frog kingdom, but it's certainly a, a house. You may be right there, buddy. Nope. I'm setting him up with the cat. Dear Diary, my heart feels used and I'm not sure if I'll ever get over her. But I think it's about time to start with something brand new. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Little well, does she know I'm looking right at her. Okay. Dear Diary, I think I'm all settled in. I got frustrated with painting the walls, but don't worry. I did it all on my own. Girl. Alright. Hmm, who would like the the anchovies and pineapple? I feel like he'd like pizza, but I feel like she'd like the fish on it. And then there's an apple or some cheese. Oh, and a basketball. Bas basketball, keep one around to imply that you do sports. <laughs> Jack-o'-lantern, it's lit. Pizza, 57%. Pineapple, 43% anchovies, 0% bones. Well, that's good to know there's no bones in it. Uh, I think the cat girl is not messy. So I'm going to give her the jack o -lantern. I love that little giggle. Oh, is there something on the computer? How do I know who I want to match make? OMG, everyone's so cute, but I don't want to accidentally commit the wrong pair of residents. How do you decide who to ship? I kind of like these because it, I feel like it helps guide the player in like such a cute, unique way. Oh, you can totally ship them around with each other and figure out who you want to focus on later. How do you do that? Or how do you know that? Because I totally ship them around with each other. Oh, I just noticed they all have ghosts in the name. Ghost Toast, Ghost Boy. Oh, not that one, but. OMG, did they hate each other when you did that? Nah, it takes some time to fully develop their feelings, so you can experiment with couples before they fully commit. Hehe. <laughs> and gifting. How do I know if a gift is good? Are there bad gifts? Every gift boosts happiness and romance, but if they really like a gift, you can see tons of hearts emojis fly out of them faster. You'll also see in the resident menu if you unlocked a new tag if it's something they really liked. Like who doesn't like gifts? I mean I like free gifts but if someone left a skeleton in my room I'd hesitate at least a little. And that was by where did my legs go. Alright. She is getting this jack-o'-lantern. Uh from Gerard. Look look girl look at your gift. Oh, I think she likes it. <laughs> oh, she loves it. Good, good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, she loves playful things? Okay. I thought she'd like um, the creative bit. Classic, messy, for some cheese. What else? I kind of want to give her something. Um, simple. Active, playful. I feel like she'd be playful, but I kind of want to give her the apple because it's like, kind of like her. All right, let's give her the apple. Oh, she turned around. I'll set her up with the frog. All in. Oh, I didn't realize it ran out. Okay, that's fine. Eh, she liked it. All right, RT to end the day. Oh yeah, Mina loved it. And she's playful.
Day two. Anything new on the computer? No. Oh, she put it. She put it on her her bed. Dear diary, has someone been reading you? I swear, yesterday Gerard got me the jack o' lantern, and to be honest, I love it. Well, let's go read their diaries first. Oh, nothing new there. Is the cape too much? Maybe if I got a second one to cover it, it wouldn't look too bold. You can never have too many capes. Oh! She's not here. Uh, dear diary, it's important to know where your roots are, but it's more important to plant them somewhere where you can grow. I wonder where she went. Oh! They can visit each other! I want to know what they're saying. They would be cute together, too. That's cute. Okay. See, we've got... I feel like he'd like this. Creative, musical, noisy. Uh, someone got lazy when naming this instrument. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely him. I'll gift this to him from her. And then I think I'm gonna assign some chores. Because I haven't done that yet. Oh, he kind of likes her. Okay. I think he likes it. Oh, he loves it. Alright. I had a feeling he'd like musical things. Visit a coffee shop, compliment yourself, and vacuum the common rooms. I feel like Mina is cute and sweet, probably, so I feel like she'd like this. Um, simple, serious, and practical. Alan and Calathea. Uh, not just because I want to put them together, but because I feel like they're probably both serious in their own ways. And I feel like Calathea is probably pr practical too. Alright. Oh, what's this? Gerard! Oh no, they're fighting! I it's only been one day! Yes, Mina? Must you keep with that incessant wailing? Whatever do you mean? All hours of the day, I hear your constant wailing and singing and screaming and playing all that loud music. It never stops with you. Mina, I haven't been screaming at all. What? But I hear it from your room. I haven't been in my room all day. Then, who was it? Maybe it was a ghost. Well, I don't mean to cause any trouble, but when I was on my way to move here, people all around tried to warn me. Warn? Warn you about what? They said this house may have spirits. <laughs> well, that might be eerie coming from him. Spirits, as in, yes, ghosts. No. Perhaps what you heard was the wailing of a restless spirit wandering this house, seeking its revenge. Pre preposterous! There's no such thing as... I... I have to go! <laughs> That's cute. Uh, anything else? He's so cute. Okay. So we'll end the day. Day three, I think she's checking in. Oh, there she is. Good news. I got you some tricks. Uh, I got you some tickets to watch today's totally not a date. We ghosties like to watch residents go on these. They can be full of fun, cute romance, or full of awkwardness. Some residents might even have super special reactions to dates that speak particularly to them. Based on how well the dates go, the greater the impact on their relationship, let's see how you did for your first totally not a date assignment. See you for t see you tonight for the premiere. Later that day. Oh, that's cute. So, who are we supposed to be getting coffee for? I'm not sure, but the board said it, so I guess ourselves. Well, it said we should both do it. Is it a two-person job? No, but I'm glad you came with me. I am too. 
I think that was a success. The date was good. The relationship increased. The self-care task was good. Mina is happier. Yeah, I had a feeling Gerard was musical and noisy and Mina was cute and simple. Oh, you know, I was right on Kathea being practical. But I guess not serious. Maybe the cat's serious. Alright, we got some... Gerard is happier and has added to his room. Mina's happier and has added to her room. Alright. Does anyone else hoard items like I do? Ghost hoarder. <laughs> LOL. I sell my items for money. Nah, you can always find the same item later if you really need it. OMG. So glad I'm not the only one. Spoopy girl. Okay. You have a new relationship talk to you? Oh. I like poking my head out of the floor. Hmm. Where did my sacred, sacred chalice go? Let me ask if Calthea, if she's seen it. Calthea, have you seen what is going on? Uh, I can explain. Why do you have a bunch of cups in your room? Uh, it's because I... Uh, never mind. I just want to find my chalice. It's very funny he has a chalice. Here it is. I'll be taking this. Ah! Calthea, why were there bugs in my sacred chalice? Oh no, I'm so sorry. I promise I can explain. And now my sacred chalice is broken. This is absurd. Aww. I didn't mean for this to happen. Aww. Feel bad for her. She probably can't help bugs. She's a plant. Alright, diary time. I got a triangle from Mina, and I wish it was raining inside the house so we could do a romantic hug in the rain. Aww. I only got angry three times today. That's a new record. Okay, girly. And... Oh, he's got one. I finally got to spend time with Calthea. I wonder if she would have liked my kingdom. And we got a box, pizza, painting, treasure in this. Artsy, bright, and quiet. I want to give this to Calthea. I feel like it should be artsy, bright, and quiet. Let's see. I wonder what happens if I give her the present from him while he's in the room. Oh, he left. Oh, she loves it. Okay, good. And maybe uh, I'll assign some chores. Uh, playful, nerdy, and complex. I'm going to put Gerard and uh, Mina here. I feel like Mina would be playful and nerdy and Gerard would be complex. I have one more point too. Um, let's see. I think I will take this painting and I'll hold on to it so I have an extra gift. Maybe I can sell it and buy something nice. Gerard and Mina. Alright. Oh, that's the end of day three. Later that day. Alright, I get three actions, so I'll move here, build this, and I'll take that. Uh, however, this is where you've made a grave mistake. I move here, and I win. Ha ha ha. Okay, you're right. That was pretty fun. But, bet you can't win the next game, though. You're on. Sounds like another success. Also, uh, alive in capitalism for the board game names. The relation- the date was good, the relationship increased. Complex? I was right about that? Bright and quiet. Alright. Sick.
so how'd your first three days go let's see oh well i guess that was a pretty good for a first timer this is the first time you've been dead right i certainly hope so how many times have you died i certainly hope so i could tell you've got that rookie ghost vibe like where's your hair at least wear a ghost hat or something to make yourself distinct either way you tried your best well, I guess things could have gone better. The real reward here is your kindness helped blossom love and a happier home. Just kidding. We have a store. The more you develop resident relationships and the more resident happiness you bring, the more relationships you get. Ghosts love to collect and spend these, and you can unlock a lot, lots of cool stuff with them. Looking for that special date or can't find the perfect gift? Unlock some new ones at my store. The possibilities are endless, until we run out of things in my store, but even then, you can match make any pair of residents you want, and every resident has a completely different story based on who they've developed a relationship with. So that sounds like a highly replayable kind of game. Now go out there and see what kind of world you can make. Ooh. <laughs> no, I'll be here if you want to buy anything. That's cute. Let's see how you did. All right. All in needs a little work. Amateur ghosty gain one action to do a total of five things a day. Unlock a mini game that earns more coins. We'll unlock both of those. Oh, can I? I don't think I can click on the manor. Yeah, I don't think I click on the manor one yet. Or maybe this is a- yeah. Alright, cool. Are you finished with the shop? Yes. Alright, now it's time to move on to the next phase. Super death. You're gonna die again, and you'll have a super afterlife. Just kidding, you're gonna go back to the manor and develop more relationships. Turns out the other ghosties really like the romances you're building and want to see more. Plus, I'll come visit with my shop in another three days. So... For the good of romance, the good of joy in the world, and most importantly, the good of my merchandise shop. Get out there and make some romances bloom. Alright, Ghostina. Day 4. Is my friend okay? I got an email from a friend who was in trouble, so I sent them money, but I haven't heard back. I'm worried. What should I do? Oh no, sweetie, I think you got scammed. It's okay, these things happen. You should be careful of who you give money to on the internet. By the way, you should pick a better username. Have you tried not getting scammed? Uh-oh, I think I got the same email. I ignored it, though. No one's getting my money this time. My password is 123. <laughs> Alright, what's the email? Yeah, you have an Eep mail account now. You can write emails to fish, I mean, fish for more ghost monies. The better your scam, the better your payout. We run scams? Don't worry, we're only scamming other ghosts. They have all the time in the world to make back that monies. Writing these emails costs ghost action points though, so keep that in mind. Alright. I'll do one more day and uh, then I'll be done because I don't... I don't want to make this too long, but this game is like absolutely adorable. I will be buying it when it fully comes out. So, diary entries. Oh, she's got one. Dear diary, I can't help it if everything I do is like adorable. I like what I like. You are so cute, girl. And she added to her room. Oh, I wonder if it's the painting? Some flowers, maybe? We got the basketball, painting, what is this, a xylophone? A wood block? And a gothic candle. And another painting. I want to give something to the frog. I don't think I've given him anything yet. But what would he like? What does he like? Creative, musical, active, playful, serious, quiet, maybe quiet, bright, dark, and classic. Artsy, complex, serious. 
What are you talking about bamboo down here? Alright, let's see. Uh, maybe I can sell this painting and buy something? 13? No. Uh, I bet you the frog would like this fancy painting, though. Um, hmm. I feel like... I feel like mm, maybe the painting. Bright, dark, and classic. Maybe he's classic. I wonder if I can give him two. Let's see if I can give him two. Alright. From Calathea. Where'd he go? Oh, he's talking to her. They would be cute together too, honestly. Check out your gift, my guy. Check it out. Is he checking it out? Oh, he loves it. Okay, good. I feel like it's classic. Classic is his. And let's put the put someone on a date. Active, adventurous, unusual. I don't know if any of these people would be active. I feel like Alan would be adventurous. Let's just do Alan and Mina. Cause I feel like um together they'd have combined attack active, adventurous, and unusual. And I'll give I'll give Gerard let him listen to music because he likes that. Oh, Calthea, yes, Alan. Now that I've calmed down a bit, can you please explain to me why in the world you took all of the cups in the household and put bugs in them? Look at her little face. Well, look at his innocent little face. He's cute. Bugs bother me, okay? I'm terrified of them. I don't know how to get rid of them. They nip at me and I'm scared to get too close to them. To them. The only thing I know works is to trap them under cups. And I'm so sorry that your chalice broke. It's all my fault. You're probably so angry with me. I'm so, so sorry. Haha, <laughs> what? That's it? I thought you were intentionally trying to infest our home with bugs. Well, if that's the case, then let me help. Let me figure out a plan to get rid of these pesky bugs. Really? You'll help me? Of course. So here's what we should do. That's cute. What a nice little resolution. You've unlocked a second relationship talk for this couple. This is the max relationship level you can reach per couple in the demo. So keep that in mind going forward. You will be able to max the relationship level in the full game. Yeah, this game kind of reminds me of Tomodachi Life. You know, not ex not a complete, um, not completely, but just in the relationship house aspect. And I absolutely love Tomodachi Life. Alright. Baked desserts, uh. Alright, Calthea, she's gonna do that. Sign everybody a chore today. And gonna end the day. She is so cute. Later that day. This is amazing. Yeah, it's like half the work and double the fun. Where should we go with it? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Tandem drive through Yes! Should we share all our orders at the drive through too? Definitely. That's cute. <laughs> the date was good. The relationship increased. The self-care task was good. I thought you'd like that. The house helper task was good. Her relationship with all of the residents increased. Wow, okay. Okay, so Alan is classic and unusual. And Calthea is sweet. She definitely seems sweet. Day five. Okay, I gotta I gotta read these because I like these forms. 
Why doesn't my house look as nice? How are all of your houses so nice and filled? All my residents have bare rooms. How do you do it? Have you been working on their happiness? They'll add to their room if you're happier. Came here to say this. Yeah, even common rooms will look nicer if there's enough total happiness in the house. Oh, this is so useful. Oh, look at that. She added that cat tower thingy. Okay, I gotta read through their diaries and watch this and then I'll be done. Ah, uh, Mina, eating one of those snacks again? They, those look lovely for a commoner snack, you know. She's like, what, what do you mean commoner snack? Of course it's nothing but the most exquisite of snacks for me, but oh no no, this cannot be. Yes, Mina, I agree. This is untenable. It, it means awful. In indefensible. I know what untenable means. What are you whining about now? My royal fly fries. Some Someone put them on the top of the cabinet. That's where all the dust is. I have very sensitive taste buds. This won't do at all. Are you talking to me or just monologuing? <laughs> well, despite what some people think, I know how to fix things too. Right, oh, monologuing. I'm leaving now. We'll just move your we'll just move your snacks to the top shelf. What? You get it. We both know what's going on the top shelf every time we make would make me look We both know that going to the top shelf every time would make me look ridiculous. Can you imagine? My royal rump isn't supposed to be so prominently displayed and you wouldn't mind your snacks being on the top shelf anyways, right? You understand. She's like, I do not understand. There, now everyone's happy. Once again, all in saves the day. You're quite lucky. Few people are ever graced with the privilege of seeing me as my... Me use my regal ingenuity. You'll pay for this, you pompous prince. I wonder what she's scheming. Oh, the teacup's cute. Alright. Any new diary entries? I'm trying a new eyeliner today, but I'm worried that it's too bold. There will be quite the fallout. Boy, I'm nervous. Did you know that a gothic candle is a frog's favorite thing? Well, at least it is when it's from Calcia to me. Aww. Alright. I'll be done here because I don't want to make this too long. But thank you guys for watching. This game is absolutely adorable. Don't forget to put it on your Steam wish list if you want to play it. I will 100% be playing this game when it releases. It is so adorable. It reminds me of Tomodachi Life, which I keep saying because I absolutely love Tomodachi Life. I'm excited to about this one and to see where the stories go. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.